Special news for InsideTrackNews.com here with our eighth place finisher at Sunset Speedway in the limited late model divisions, Travis 50 Cal Halliburton. A good run, Travis. You're, you're knocking these top 10 finishes down like it's your job now, my friend. You're looking awfully confident in that Hillsdale Service Center number 39. Yeah, we had uh, we had a good break there. I think it was lap lap 40, so 10 to go. I think we were back in 18th, and we had a late race caution. A couple of cars got knocked out, and we made some good track positions. So uh, the 39 car was working good, and uh, Sean and my brother, he's uh, helping out huge this weekend, uh, getting the thing going with his knowledge. It seems to be a perennial thing, uh, a weekly thing with this car that uh, it sort of it doesn't really come to life until until late in the going. It uh, I, don't, I don't know what the deal is. Is that is that part of the strategy, or, or it just sort of seems that seems to happen that way? Yeah, well, I've been practicing and, and working on uh, saving the car and equipment for the end, and these guys are using using their stuff up and trying to get a couple spots at the at the end of the race. So it's kind of hard being back at the pack with the guys. You can use your car up doing it, but you just got to uh, race smart and uh, know when to go. I mean, of all the freshmen we have here on the roster, you, you've definitely been the most Im impressive in that number 39 car. You came into this weekend, uh, I believe, 10th in points, 9th or 10th in points, and with the, with the weekend that some of your closest competition have had and, uh, and the way you performed this weekend, you got to think this, it's definitely going to help your, uh, your standing right now and heading with, uh, with three weeks to go in the points. I mean, the, the 39 car is looking pretty good right now. Yeah, we're doing pretty good. We made a goal at the start of the year to try and be top 10 in points and obviously go for the rookie of the year. And uh, so we're meeting our goals that we've set. And, uh, you know, everyone back at the Hills of Service Centre camp has just been uh, behind me 110% and my brother too, so it's, uh, it's, been, a, it's been a good uh, good challenge. It's been incredible watching your driver development uh, from, from being a, a Thunder Car driver racing a limited late model to a limited late model driver and, and really sort of being comfortable in your own skin. What are some, uh, has it been like a, a, a turning point that really sort of helped you get up to speed with this number 39 car and, and get more acclimated to your surroundings? Yeah, seat time was a big thing, but there's a confidence level you have to build to, to you know, and gain respect with the other guys you're racing against because they can end your night pretty quickly if they don't give you any, you know, a little bit of track. So definitely, uh, I'd say seat time was a big thing and, uh, you know, having the support around you to, to uh, propel you in the right direction. Well, another great performance this weekend, knocking out another top 10 finish. I know it's not possible that a, a whole lot of people behind the scenes. Who made this possible for the 39 squad? Oh, I think my mom and dad off the hop for sure. My brother, he helped me out huge this weekend. You know, I bored his car, off his car. He broke, so uh, we're working together. Uh, Sean, Tammy, Daryl. Uh, Desmond, Kenny, everyone there, Hills Service Center, Big Performance Parts, and Transaxle. There you go, folks. Come up to Sunset Speed. We only got a, three, a few more nights to do so in the regular season. Watch Travis Halliburton try to, uh, to clinch that Rookie of the Year title and, and work his way up deeper into the top 10. Travis, always a pleasure to do. We'll, we'll catch up with you next Saturday. Thank you. There you go, folks. Driver number 39 late models, Travis 50 Cal.